What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a two-leg parlay for Wednesday, June 12th, 2024 here. I picked out the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I invented myself personally, go to pitdowns.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, guys. While I'm recording this, I'm currently sweating out this Mystics dream game. Uh, I gave out the dream as a, a piece of our parlay yesterday. And these ladies are down by five at half. You know, they're at home. They're playing a team that's 0-12. I'm not content being down by five at half. I will say the Mystics have been a better first half team. So hopefully they drop the ball again and the dream come through. And uh, yeah, and hopefully they pull that one out. If, if they lose um, to the 0-13, 0-12 Mystics, I'm going to be a little angry. So we will see. But enough with the WNBA for today's parlay. We're looking at the NBA. My light just turned off, by the way. I may be a little dark today, but it's okay. Um, yeah, we're looking at the NBA. We're looking at the NBA Finals. Celtics coming to this one up two games to zero. I'm not too surprised. You know, the Celtics have been the best home team all season long. Uh, they look pretty damn good in these first two games. I do expect a better game out of the Mavericks. Um, so let's get right into this parlay for the first leg. I think I gave this out in our last parlay video when these two teams played, but it's Luka over three and a half threes. I expected Vegas to adjust this line because he keeps hitting it. He keeps hitting it. He's got in four more threes in his in his last six games. Now he comes back home. I don't see a world where he doesn't hit this again. Um, he's putting up a, a ton of three-point attempts through the first two games of the series. Uh, last game, he put up nine. Game one, he put up 12. That's over 20 three-point attempts in the first two games of the series. I don't see that slowing down. Luka's not getting much help at all. Um, from some of the role players that we saw play very well in the OKC series and the Minnesota series, like guys like PJ Washington, uh, you know, Kyrie really hasn't looked that great as well. It's a Lucas show. He needs to put the team on his back. He's going to throw up a bunch of threes. He's going to get a bunch of play playing time. Luca's going to hit four threes again, guys. So for the first leg, give me Luca over three and a half three pointers for the second leg, man. I, I can't believe Vegas did this. I can't believe they're, they're, they set the line at this. Gafford, under one and a half blocks. I mean, I mean, it seems a, a little too easy. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, he's through two games, he's only had one block this season or <laughs> this series. Uh, in game one, he had zero blocks. In game two, he did have one. Uh, but, I mean, when we look at his numbers here, he hasn't – every single time he's played the Celtics in his whole career, he hasn't got uh, more than one block. In his last 20 games, he's gotten – Two blocks had only at a 30% clip this season. And let's not forget, the Boston Celtics, they don't get blocked, man. Um, they average, they allow 3.7 blocks to opposition a game, which is the fewest in the league. Um, I'm surprised this number's at one and a half, you know. And, and he splits a lot of time with, uh, with Lively as well. So it's not like he's in the game that much. Um, in game one, he only logged 14 minutes. In game two, he logged 22 minutes. And he's playing a team that allows the fewest blocks in the league. It seems too easy, but I'm taking it. Give me Gafford under one and a half blocks. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, give me Luka over three and a half three-pointers. Gafford under one and a half blocks. You should still get some plus money there. It's not going to be crazy, but I'm, I, I assume you'd probably get like plus 140 there. Um, yeah, fun little parlay. Keep you guys entertained throughout the game. That's going to do it. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my handicap curve more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at BradwinsBets. I post all my wins and losses there, my pit toss content, other free picks, it all funnels back into there. But most importantly, subscribe to Pit Toss on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.